welcome you to the show. 2022 started out like garbage. On a recent run in Japan, I got caught in a big rainstorm. Woo! <laughs> 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 Developed a bad cold and ended up in the emergency room. Then my car died. My plans to go island hopping in Okinawa, Japan over my winter break were replaced with medicine and car bills. But being forced to stay home gave me a lot of time to think about my mental health and set my goals for 2022. I'm a very driven person. In September of 2021, I finished my postdoc research fellowship at Harvard Medical School, focusing on mental health. In 2018, I completed my entire PhD program at the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, in just two and a half years. Now I live in Southern Japan and have more that I want to accomplish. In this video, I will share with you what my specific goals are, how I intend to achieve them, and the three ideas that I live by every day that keep me focused. I will also share with you some amazing sites in Japan that I recently visited and how these trips keep me motivated in life. I call them my baby earthquakes. The BBC calls them little earthquakes. My overall goal is to have the healthiest, most efficient, and productive routine possible between now and 2023 and enjoy the entire process. I work on perfecting my routine every single day. I'm hoping to create an autopilot mode where I can get the things I want to get done each day, but at the same time, save my energy so I can focus on other things like teaching and time with friends and family. Let's get started. First, here are my goals. Number one, get in the best physical shape of my life. I love to run and lift weights, but this year I want to take it to a whole new level in Okinawa, Japan. Number two, I want to learn 2000 new Japanese characters. This is about 40 new kanji per week. It includes both reading and writing them. Number three, I want to create two new YouTube videos per week about Japan, mental health, and my day-to-day -day life here. How will I accomplish this? Well, these three ideas have helped me in the past and I hope they inspire you too. Number one, simple. Keep it simple. I repeat, keep your plans simple. Remove any distractions from your life. This includes physical, emotional, and mental distractions. I recently moved to a smaller apartment, for example, because my old place was too much of a hassle to clean and keep organized. It was a great house, but it was much more than I needed. So I'm kind of a, a minimalist. The more I have, the more I feel I have to think and worry about these things. With fewer things, there's less to fix if it gets broken, less to clean when it gets dirty, and less to replace if it gets old. And for the things that I do have in my apartment, I make them visible so I remember to use them and keep them a part of my routine. Since I already decided to keep them in my life for a reason, then I want to have a system set up so I actually use those things on a daily basis and not forget about them. If I don't use something regularly, I get rid of it. And when I buy something new, I often get rid of the old item it replaced. When things go badly, like when I get sick, or if I need to take a break from my routine, because it is very simple, then it is much easier to get back in the groove and start it up again. 
The more complicated your routine and lifestyle, the more discouraging and difficult it is to get back on track. My diet is the same. Same breakfast every morning, simple and healthy. Number two, maintain a consistent and steady pace. Being goal-driven does not mean you have to sprint through life. In fact, I think it's quite the opposite. Each day, you know what you have to accomplish and you get it done because it is simple and routine. And these little successes can build up to be something great. Think of a leaky faucet in your kitchen. A drop of water comes out every few seconds. It seems like nothing and you ignore it. But if you put a bucket under it and go away for the weekend, you will come home to a container full of water. It is the slow accumulative effect that has the most impact on your life. When people ask me how I completed my PhD program at UCLA and wrote a nearly 300 page original research paper in less than three years while taking classes full time, teaching over 60 college students per quarter, exercising every day, and being actively involved in student government and research groups, I tell them it wasn't that hard. Every evening after a day of work, I went home, took a 20 to 30 minute nap to rest my brain, to reconfigure, get some dinner, and then head out to a local coffee shop. Then I spent every night for over two years reading, writing, and doing research. 180 minutes every night or three hours working in various coffee shops around Los Angeles. Some nights I felt like I didn't get anything done, but I stuck with my routine. The other nights I would get a week's worth of writing done in one night session. But the key was that I stuck to my routine and I didn't get discouraged by what could feel like a lack of progress. I learned that they were both tough and easy nights, but the good nights would not come unless I put myself in the position to succeed. And the quality of my work showed. This paper that I worked on for over two years won a prestigious international award and got me an invitation to Harvard University. The quality of my work came through because I stuck with it. Number three, stay away from distractions. When I study Japanese, for example, I put my phone on airplane mode, go to a place where no one else knows me and pull out my pen and paper. I also don't let external factors of things I can't control impact my focus. Being flexible. So sometimes if I'm at the gym and someone's on the machine I wanna use, I just pick another exercise, but I stay focused. When someone asks me to take part in a big new research project, I know it will completely take over my life for a few days, weeks, or months. So I try to negotiate first. If that's impossible, I simply say no. No is the most powerful word pretty much in any language in the world. How do I stay motivated each day? I use baby earthquakes to keep me fresh and support my mental health. In a recent BBC article, they explain small earthquakes in your life as intentionally seeking the feeling of awe, which can improve memory, boost creativity, and relieve anxious rumination. The aim is to evoke awe, which is defined as the wonder that we feel when we encounter something that we can't easily explain. Feelings of awe can have a truly profound influence on the mind, enhance our memory and creativity, as well as inspire us to act more altruistically to the people around us. It can also have a profound impact on our mental health by allowing us to put our anxieties into perspective. If you are a subscriber to my YouTube channel, you will see me take lots of weekend trips around Okinawa, Japan, go on long runs to beautiful, awe-inspiring places, swim with incredible ocean life, and wander the streets of Japan at night looking for a new temple or shrine. Almost daily, I find something new that surprises me. To support my mental health, these little earthquakes don't have to be the most amazing sights or only be found in a foreign country that's exciting for me like Japan. They could be found in front of you right now. When I lived in Boston last year, I would find the most fun, random, and interesting sights 
if I just took the time to look for them and appreciate them when they came. The world is an amazing place to be explored, observed, and interacted with. This can also be found in the people around you. We get used to our environments as humans. This is good for our survival, but it can also take away its freshness and excitement. Go somewhere new with a friend, walk down the street you've always been curious about, or plan a big road trip and find a new town, restaurant, or park. Appreciate the little and big things around you. If you stay at home and look at TikTok all day, I promise you are missing out on some of life's greatest little earthquakes happening around you right now. I believe without these mental health boosters, it is easy to get burnt out and you can lose focus of your goals. So let's stay strong, get focused and make 2022 the best year of our lives.